Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be about why mechanics hate BMW all across the world and why they tell people to get rid of these cars. And I'm gonna to explain to you why that is right now. God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you So, guys, as you'll see here, this is the BMW M52 engine. And I'm just going to use this as an example as to why many garages hate BMW. Now, this is a common engine, obviously, a lot of you on my channel end up taking to your garages or your indies. And you'll take it there and a lot of them will misdiagnose these cars. And I'm gonna tell you why garages hate these cars so much. So the first one is a lot of them use cheap scanners, either snap-on or these just handheld scanners that you plug up and it ends up sending their heads running round rings. And the fact that they're used to diagnosing Dodge or they're trying to use a Dodge scanner or VM and you cannot do that. So the first one I get a lot of you guys go to a garage and they're telling you is the oil filter housing gasket, it ends up leaking. You'll take that to a garage and they will end up running all the diagnosis on the engine and then open your coolant tank and say to you, oh, well you've got oil inside your coolant reservoir. Now that's not good. They will then tell you it's a head gasket problem and make you pay for a whole new head gasket on this engine when the fact is it's not even your head gasket and what they will do is charge you hundreds and hundreds of dollars or hundreds of pounds fix the head gasket then find out that your oil is still pouring into the coolant then what will they do they will then replace many other parts on the car and make you pay for this pay for that and it doesn't even rectify your problem then they'll tell you to get rid of it or take it somewhere else because they can't fix it. They don't know what's wrong with it. They don't understand these cars. They don't know this. And obviously they will even admit to it in the end that they can't figure out the problem and you need to take it to BMW, the dealers. Then you'll take it to the dealers and they won't even know what to do with this car. They won't understand what's wrong with it because most of their techs there have been brought in from the F-Series and up, they have no clue about these engines. The next one a lot of you go to the garages for is a misfire on these engines. And garages will use your cheap little scanners, which will throw a camshaft correlation code or a camshaft position sensor. They will change the camshaft sensors, which sit right here on the going up into the camshafts itself. They will change these. The fault will still be present. Then they start changing the ignition coils and then the fault's still present and they don't understand why. Then they'll pull out your spark plugs, check them, tell you they're coated or maybe it needed spark plugs. They'll change them over and they'll keep changing all these parts and the problem will still persist. As many of you guys know, you've gone to garages and they haven't rectified your fault because there's one thing that goes overlooked on this engine is the vandal solenoids which sit down here by a lot of garages. Now, many of you guys know these right here are responsible for the camshafts and therefore to keep oil flow to the adjusters and obviously the, the rings on the camshaft because otherwise they eat them up where there's low oil pressure. Now these, a lot of garages will overlook and won't even think of changing them or they'll take them out and clean them and the problem will still persist. Therefore, you have to change them and a lot of garages will just throw the car out and tell them they can't find the issue because your misfire keeps coming back or you're going back to the garage with the same issue because they have failed to do a correct diagnosis. The next one on these is overheating issues. Now, I've got this a lot and there's actually a guy, if he watches this, he'll probably know who I'm on about. He took his M52 to a garage in the US, then found out his car wasn't overheating. He took it to the garage. Within a week, they replaced the water pump, thermostat, radiator and everything and his car then started overheating because the garage or independent specialist believed that you needed to update the modules on the car to make the water pump run properly. 
Now, as many of you guys know, a lot of these indies and garages are getting information from YouTube, trying to use it in their shop to make out they know what they're doing, and they end up causing the car to overheat, and I had to rectify the issue for the guy, because what they had actually done is flashed his car with an EU flash firmware file and caused his car to constantly overheat because it wasn't detecting the water pump. Because in the US and the UK, we use different flashes for the ECU. So he had flashed an EU flash to his car and his car was overheating because it wasn't reading the water pump, so it lost communication to the water pump. Therefore, he caused the guy's car to end up overheating and destroying itself, pulling the bolts out of the head on this engine and causing the car to overheat. And this is a common thing I get a lot from a lot of you guys that you take it to a garage and they end up not diagnosing it. Then the guy asked for his money back and tried to sue the garage. The garage didn't want to pay him. He ran into a lot of problems to the point he needs now a whole new engine. And this is truly because these guys don't understand these cars. And this is why you will take your car to a garage and they will refuse to work in it or tell you to take it to the dealer because they have no clue what they're doing. Another one on these cars is the belts down here. They will all derail. And many of you guys already know why that is because I've explained it many times. You'll take it to a shop to have it replaced. They'll replace the tensioner and all the belts, but they overlook the most important thing that makes them derail, which is the oil cooler itself leaking onto the belts, causing it to derail. So they replace it all. And then next thing, they don't replace the oil cooler. The belt derails again. You're back in the shop asked, questioning why it derailed. The garage is scratching their head, not knowing what the hell's happened because the belt's derailed. And it's all because they didn't replace the oil cooler itself. They find it all oily. They blame other things or they'll blame just years old of grease going onto the engine. They overlook the most simple problem, which is the oil cooler and not replacing that. This is why guys, I'm here to explain to you and show you all the things the garages overlook on this engine. If you have a misfire, look at your van or solenoids first, which sit down there. And if it's not them, then it could be your ignition coils. These engines are very, very easy to diagnose, but these engines will still throw a mechanic off because they're not used to working on them. This is why I tell you, take the car to a specialist who deals in BMW strictly and not all different makes and models. Because if you take this car to other people that specialize in all sorts of other things, they will misdiagnose it. Another thing that can cause a misfire, which is very overlooked, is the disavows, which I've spoke to you about many times. There's one there and one there. If you have the 2.5 liter or the 2.3, you only have this one. You won't have the one down here. Garages will overlook that. The flaps do come off and they lose the pin. And when they come off, it causes a lot of rough running codes. It will cause your car to run rough because they are meant to stay open and close as you're driving, as they pull the air in to the manifold runners. But a lot of garages overlook them and then they'll blame the car or tell you you need a new engine. The next thing on these is the valve cover that likes to leak. When it leaks, they will tell you, you need this, you need that. They don't know where it's coming from, i.e. the valve tonic motor gasket, which is a football gasket as many people know, know it as, that likes to leak oil and it will leak it into your spark plug holes. That's why if you've ever noticed on the ignition coils, you've got a cover that cover the spark plug holes for a reason, because otherwise it will leak oil in there when you pull the spark plug out all that oil will leak and get onto the pistons and that isn't a good thing at all but a lot of garages overlook that and just think of pulling the valve cover gasket and then they end up um, telling you you need a new engine or they can't source the valve cover or they can't source the gasket or they get a cheap Chinese one and especially if you've got the plastic valve cover they'll source a Chinese valve cover and you'll end up with leaks again that's why it is best to do your own repairs on these engines the next one we've spoken about many many times is this centric shaft sensor which lives underneath the valve cover which goes into the valve cover they can cause many 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 misfires and rough running codes and cause your car's van off system not to work at its full optimum availability they go bad and garages will overlook that they'll replace everything as well and not look at the eccentric shaft sensor which sits under there because they don't have the right scan tools telling them what to look at all they get is a misfire and they start pulling the ignition coils like a normal car 
they'll start pulling the spark plugs and that is about it because that's all they know to do. Most of these techs that work in garages are all old men that have worked on old cars. They're not used to all these electronics and how they all operate and how they work and how the vinyl system works on this car. Therefore, they just go by what they know and what they've been taught over the years. They don't know any different and that's the way they see all cars that they should be. BMW advances with technology. They need to get rid of these old techs and advance with the newer techs who understand these engines and not think they still know how to deal with today's engineering, which they don't. But a lot of them don't want to admit to themselves they can't do the job anymore because it's all they know. But you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And this is why these engines get a bad rap. This is why a lot of them end up in the scrapyard in the US. This is why a lot of these engines end up going bang. This is why a lot of you end up needing new engines because the garages misdiagnose the car completely. And then they blame everybody else and blame BMW. You take it to the dealer, they don't know what they're doing. You take it to an Indy, they don't know what they're doing. And then they make it all wrong. They mess it up even more blow your engine up and then you're left to pick up the pieces for a whole new engine. So there you have it guys, I've just gone over why mechanics hate BMW and this is the exact reason why they hate these cars. It's not actually because they actually hate these cars, it's because they're old techs that don't, can't advance with the times and with the way the technology moves on. They're just old, they're used to what they know, they don't want to admit that they don't know because they don't want to lose their job. They don't know anything else because they've done it for so many years. Therefore, they try and make out they know what they're doing when the reality is they don't know what they're doing and they don't want to have to bow down and let someone younger come in and take over what they know and make them look like a fool because they have to look like they know what they're doing. A lot of these guys should just be honest and say, we can't do on BMW, we don't understand them, we don't have the right scan tool. Therefore, it's better if you take it to the dealer or take it to someone that knows what they're doing. Then admit they know what they're doing and mess people's cars up as they keep doing every single day in the US. And I know this because I get a lot of comments from people going to their shop, not repairing it, still coming to my channel because they've got another problem because the shop doesn't know how to deal with these cars. And I do feel bad for a lot of you guys that rely on these so-called garages and indies that you're meant to trust and end up making things very, very bad. Then it gives BMW a bad rap, it gives you a reason to get rid of the car and then makes everyone believe that that's why you should go to Toyota. But in this day and age, in this country, nobody goes to Toyota here because we have no reason to because these cars are super reliable. We don't do the mileage a lot of people do in the US. We also don't have Indies that don't understand and don't know what they're doing. A lot of us repair our own cars here and we understand the technology and how it advances. But a lot of garages in the US are very stubborn. They don't want to come out of what they know. A lot of these old guys need to leave the garage as far as I'm concerned. A lot of these guys that work in indie shops there need to leave their job and go and find something else. I don't know, carpentry or whatever it is they, they're good at. But they're not clearly good at being a mechanic because if they was, they would know how to do they would know how to fix any car and not just the cars they feel comfortable working on. But thank you very much for watching guys and I hope this video is actually going to help you and lead you to your problem. If you do get any issues on your car, have any issues on your M52, comment down below, I will reply or the other guys who have M52 have been through the same issue will reply to you as well. My channel is very, very dedicated to M52 and this can save you thousands and save you going to a shop and save your engine in the long run as well. So thank you very much for watching guys, it's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.